What's up guys? This is the Rifle Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, we're going to smash the Marathon fleet. So let's get to it. Uh, it's really important that we destroy their fleets wherever we can, just so they don't continue to harass us and cause trouble. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you can. Like this fleet, we could completely ignore because it doesn't impact our strategic position we could still get troops out of Ceylon pretty easily um, they wouldn't really be opposed it wouldn't be a threat to our fleets either so we could ignore it but why do that when well, we can just smash the living bejesus out of it and they do have a lot of small ships so they could end up being a bit annoying but Sail at full speed with the wind. Deal with it. So they do have a couple of second rates. They're further back here. Yeah, Dashak and Vipul. But for the most part, their fleets are small. Well, their ships are small, and we are going to continue to raid their um, their coastline. So it's not as though they're going to easily be able to make more fleets. We're in a really strong position here to just blockade the entire coast. So some of these some of these ships may sneak through our line. That's fine. We've got an awful lot of firepower. We haven't got to worry about that. So they might get some initial shots into General Gates. Wait a minute. That's the guy from the Patriot who's a damn fool. He spent too many years in the British Army. And like Adams, there's a, that's a name you can set your watch to. Okay, so what's rushing up against us? Fourth rate, fourth rate, fifth rate. I mean, their second rates are still back here. They're slow. So I'm going to speed it up. They're going to get their initial shots off into Adams. But I'm just going to let that happen. There's no real worry about that yet. It looks like our first shot's going to be into Vidget. Another fourth rate. I mean, to be fair, that's mostly what their fleets are made up of. Chain shot. You know I love me some chain shot. Let's sweep the masts off that fourth rate on the port side. And let's detach our third rates to give a slightly different angle. You should take one of their masts down for sure. They're wavering already. Huh. Didn't lose any masts. You are just out of range. You're going to fire a broad. You're going to fire a broadside of round shot into fourth rate. could be sneaky and escape. I don't want you to escape. That's the main problem. So they've lost their... They may as well just shoot you regularly. Though. I want you to chain shot just so you don't fire it here. Fire chain shot, see if you can knock some more masts off. Almost, that's nice. Just buy some ground shots, then it seems like that's going to be the only way to do it. ships we get in we bring to bear the better there you go 
this fourth raid's lost all their masts, so they should go down pretty easy. You might keep firing chain to really just sweep masts off of all of these maneuverable ships. As soon as they can't maneuver, they get upset real fast. Surrendered, excellent. So yeah, I'm not bothered about damage they do to me. Pull them straight on the masts. There we go. Now Ganji is going to put some shot to Kamuk. Third rates of decreased sale. Sixth rates lost a mass, they're already very upset. Okay, now we're at the point where we want to just start building up our gunfire line. You're wavering, root routing. You've lost a mass, which is quite nice. Just pump shots into them, regular shots into these ships. Rates coming in. Seconds are starting to join the line. still here. Impressive. You probably want to make Darshak your primary target. Might loop you around really because you're getting a bit strung out on the end there. Fire a few more round bit shots of chain, see if you can oh, surrender. Super. Seconds and give them alternative instructions. Get over here at full sail. You should be motoring compared to the back of this column. Shot firing, let's get you firing chain shot. You can put some shots into that fifth rate. Let's keep this regular line moving forward. Fire round shot. Put some shots into you. Speed. 
You want to turn into Darshak. Can you just try to get around behind them? Hold, fire chain. You get over here. Keep firing chain. Darshak, you. Just get into a. Get into a slugfest. their way around the rear. You get out of the way. Flexible. Get you on ahead. General Gates is on fire and he's running. Fair enough, he got a good side in there. Should really try to match them hull to hull. want to try deal with Darshank. General yeah, Gates is... Ah, oh, Surrender. Fair enough. Let's deal with this fellow. Let's bring Brandywine on. Surrendered. Excellent. Let's turn your stern in towards Bipul. You're just, you're just hitting General Gates. You're not really doing anything new. Put some shots into Bipul's God, masts. Or are you hitting widgets? Widgets surrendered. More shots into General Gates. Vipple comes through the gap. You're going to be right for the taking. The trouble is with you guys, you've all started to position because I accidentally moved this formation. To prevent their ability to maneuver. Be able to engage Vipple from the stern. There we go, broadside in there. So they're trying to save their ship from range. Oh, stay away. Steer clear. There goes General Gates. Rear mast is gone. It's the Admiral on here. Ooh, very smug with himself. 
and General Gates' destruction means that Adams now has clear field of fire, as will Ganges soon. There you go, the last mast is gone, mostly. It's just a round shot. Engage. Everybody else. They've maneuvered, decided to maneuver funky because I gave a silly order. Make full speed towards this side, this area. Jesus, ready to open fire. You're only routing. You need to surrender. Strike your colours, Admiral. Strike your damn colours. They've still got some. <laughs> still got some beans. Start drumming again. Keep up the men's morale. Surrendered, finally. Okay, let's go get these fellows, although they are likely to give us a real run around. what we want. Really allocate a third rate to each to chase them down. Because they are withdrawing. Well, they're not withdrawing, rather. They are just running away. If they're running for the... They're running for the border... I mean, they might be running, but typically, if they run, they generally write, they generally show, like, withdrawing as their status, rather than just firing. Give these men orders to board the ships. Whoever boards them, f oh no, they can't, multiple ships can't board. Naturally. Ganges can load grape shot. Let's see if that does any different any damage. Typically it doesn't do anything really. There you go. Sailing in close enough. So they got 165 troops, they've only got four. We're loaded for Past a shot. They're probably too close, too high. Switch to round shot. Quite a bunch of shots there and did nothing. It's a bit sneaky because if I disconnect the boarding, I can fire a full broadside right now. We are ready to engage. We have many more men. Hundred and fifty one versus two hundred and nineteen, although that side of theirs did some damage. Adams is going to be even the score, although one of the cannibals went straight through my end. Ship. And our dock with the sixth rate, sending in a heavy first rate to board a sixth rate. the Admiral on the right, he's got his hand behind his back. There's the drummer, giving a, giving a tune. Not the Admiral, uh, the previous, oh, maybe that's not the Admiral. 
even then. One of their officers is on the floor. They've surrendered. So let's try... So if this doesn't work, Hannah's to shot a heavy first ray into a sixth ray. We can be pretty sure it doesn't do anything. Imagine being this poor sick trait, just being hauled in by a ship this massive. Marines are getting ready to board. You're in a very precarious position for you. How many men just break their legs crossing over? This, look at look at these mad lads. <laughs> They're jumping, missing, immediately dying. But then look at these lovers. Well, they're not lovers. They're definitely not lovers. We're shimmying down the ropes. No, oh, you have so much to live for. A ship full of lemmings. Sort of Wait for me! I hit the gun crews. Yeah, but they've surrendered. My god. I wouldn't say it was close, but yeah, that was quite funny. <laughs> okay, so we've captured the entire fleet. Total victory. So we don't want anything less than... We want the second rate. Well, I suppose we only need one. Because we've only lost one ship. The rest of them we can cash in for money. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. So you get into Colombo. Reinforce. Awesome. Let's upgrade Pondicherry. Or build something in Pondicherry, actually. Pretty the farm you states, global trading companies being repaired. Send the sloop John Adams to your know and Don't need two happiness buildings here. Let's upgrade the roads, upgrade the farms. Yes. <laughs> Cloudsley Cockburn. He is ready to engage the enemy. Uh, we've got a church school here, so we can probably send this agent to... Uh, let's send them to Nagpur. So we're, we can we can knock one of these buildings down. We can replace that with a with a church school as well. It's your replenishing. Everything's going well. Get everything going okay here. Let's maybe dispatch one. Prepare for war. Oh, I wanted to see if I could. Um, raid the university but they've intercepted us with this tiny army it's not the garrison it's the force outside it um they've seen my weak unit of cavalry and gone aha we can get them but we've got my entire force sat here ready to reinforce so a bit of a miscalculation by the ai there so wherever my cavalry start they're going to run to wherever my reinforcements are coming in and they may be able to catch my weak unit of cavalry. But that won't be enough. It's like, well, we've got elephant musketeers, Hindu warriors, dervishes, Bajir lancers. looks like we've actually got a really rapid reinforcement point. Now 
you guys screwed up. Push forward to gain a bit of breathing space out of the deployment area. Just get out here, make a little room. As soon as the artillery unlimbers there, they are just in. They're in enormous trouble. Just keep on entering the field. That is plenty. Yeah, here they come. You're right. Guys, when you haven't got orders to, oh, you must have been, you must have been hit. Just let my artillery engage their artillery. Yeah, you got to push me. One last unit of long riflemen. Okay, push up. Push up, engage the enemy. Kill them all. Oh, it says unlimber. Okay, you can unlimber now. Push up rapidly. All out of enemy fire. Storm out, annihilate them. Whoops, a bit too fast. They form diamond away from us. Interesting strategy. Considering the rains, people. Push the marines up. Hillary, just shoot the hell out of this 12 pounder. That will probably be enough. We haven't got to not worried about actually killing them. They're probably this army's probably gonna be obliterated after the action. Because they chose I mean the, the the whole point of why I did what I did was I wanted to raid the university so it was damaged. Yeah, see they're gone. Raid the university just so it's damaged, so that when we take over, in theory, it is. In theory, it's uh, it shouldn't cause any problems from public from a public order perspective. Right, so you need to move up. We can repair the rice fields. This force move out of your 
the town and attack the force in the Pleasure Gardens with our Spanish ally. So we need to keep the pressure up in the east. We can threaten um, Amedabad from the east and the the Marathas aren't going to be able to respond to us in all directions all at once. I think that's the, the overall objective of this small campaign. There is a larger force to the west which could attack us following on from this engagement so we want to make sure that we do this in an intelligent way. Combine all my traditional infantry, a real mix. East India, India Company infantry, well, Company infantry, we've got American infantry mercenaries, Native African troops, Native American troops rather, I should say. Skirmishers clustered together, let's give them the bowmen and the heavy cavalry unit. The light cavalry unit can support the heavy infantry. Bowman in the center. So. Artillery just hammer away at the enemy cavalry blocks. Oh no, Spain! What a direction to come in from. Okay, we haven't, had, we haven't moved up yet. I think we are going to stay where we are for now. We're going to be able to repulse their Bargier Lancers. They're not charging yet. Artillery firing. It's a lot of dead cavalrymen from shrapnel fire. Okay, let's advance on the right. They may come back. They've still got a good chunk of their troops present. Yeah, there they are. They are coming back. Bindari horsemen. Skirmishes up here. Heavy cavalry position ready to defend them. The cavalry, enemy cavalry reinforcement has decided to move into the center of their formation. The Spanish are under threat. Yeah, engage the Polygar. Killed a few rangers in our charge. We're a lot more elite. That should tip the balance in our favour. Oh, that's Spain's general. Allied general fallen. So this... Yeah, you've attacked an elephant unit on your lonesome. White cavalry charge the lancers. Oh no, they're shattered anyway. Marines push up. They were doing well against the heavy cavalry. Horsemen. Okay, keep trying to kill that Pindari unit. Let's 
skirmishes are lining up to engage the general's bodyguard. Excellent. Push the left flank up. Good hit on the horsemen here. Down to 50 men. Shattered. Nice. Switch my howitzer to round shot. Start dropping some shots onto the general's bodyguard. That unit's broken. Push up to engage the general. forward, secure the line, capture the ground. Maybe charge the mercenaries because they're likely to come back. Artillery, bombard the hell out of the general. There's the unit from Dari Horsemen, they've come back. Falling back. Capture that high ground. Yeah, General's bodyguard. General body. General's bodyguard unit is definitely going to rout. Bring the crassier out. Peasantry is getting hammered. Okay, let's get my artillery to engage the Pindari horsemen at range. Kill the enemy general. The armed peasantry are going to rout in the, the first whiff of musket fire. But they've gone already. Pindari horsemen, you know, broken as the last remnants of their forces are gone. Nice. Let's continue. Just even though it's probably just going to be that unit of mercenaries is going to escape. It's going to be everybody against the this unit of armed peasantry. Whoa, stakes. Should you avoid? Yeah, good. Did. Just chase them down. We don't have to chase the elephants down because the general's already dead. Just harass them. I suppose we're really, it was a bit unnecessary to chase them down, but you know. Why not? So there's three remaining. Oh no, those are just the two left. Awesome. That's right. Stand and fight your curs. But we have annihilated them. Great. So you are useless. Wait a minute. But you died. Hey, Osbert. Replenish. You could probably do with losing a unit of infantry. Forward. March. No, requesting a unit of howitzers. At the ready. Your orders. So you, are you is there a general here? There is, with some veteran Gurkha troops in it. Bullet or a knife. Good. Missed him. Uh, roads are being upgraded here. Okay, this is all going rather nicely. Yes, there's a target here. Uh, Garfield missed the general. Down here, we've still got yes, sir. you. You're still sieging my soul, but that's fine. Right, Europe. Look 
couple more turns. Your army's completely re replenished. Full army here at Antwerp. That's not what we want to see. It looks like we've got a few armies we need to fight in the field first. Let's attack Eugen Schmied. Schmied Schmied in Antwerp. Took a little while to load into that action for some reason. But yeah, let's... Yeah, we've got a couple of um, Austrian armies we need to defeat in the field first. And then we can start pushing eastward. Let's get... Want to get in there? Want to get in there and start massacring them? Okay, gunners. Stay on the high ground south of the road. Need a lot of varied terrain we need to advance over. We've got a lot of cavalry. Which actually mirrors what the AI generally does. Take hmm. my sharpshooters and put them on the right flank where it's a bit more open. Okay, make my howitzers attack their line. Infantry wise, go on that. You're going after my light cavalry sharpshooters, eh? They'll like the sound of that. Give them a volley. Didn't kill that many of them, but we can intercept you with our heavy cavalry. Okay, let's get you around the flank. Drop in square. My heavy cavalry. My heavy cavalry is advancing forward. Some square formations. Yeah, you're all knackered. Of no use here. Enemy provincial cavalry is going to be no good. Advance the core of my infantry up. Blast the main gun position area with shrapnel shot. To be honest, let's just focus fire all our artillery in the centre. That's where they That's where victory will be found. Keep killing the provincial cavalry. My grenadiers will deal with the Pandora. Pandora, Pandora. Grenadiers are just about beating their Grenadier. Not just any Grenadiers, Grenadier Guards. You're not going to fool me, computer. as well. Perfect quick line target right there in the militia. Okay, you men form up. Charge the curacy air. Actually, no. You have. You do have to charge the mercenary. Yeah, charge the charge the curacy air just to make sure we do win that engagement. Hold firm. 157th. I mean, we've still got a square nearby to hold. It's not particularly spicy just yet. My 
general had to deal with these grenadiers. And my other cavalry is doing nothing. Stay out of the way. I'll watch out for these double lines of stakes that they don't. My my cavalry don't get massacred on them. You very nicely ran your armored bodyguard into me. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Engage the Swiss guards. Looks like this unit of Freikorps is the only line on the the only unit on the left that's actually holding on. They have now broken. Advance and secure that hill. Okay, the general's knocked out the cuirassier. We knocked out the guerrilla mercenaries. My heavy cavalry have mocked their heavy cavalry. Okay, we're advancing forward in good order. How oh, it says attack ground the light cavalry sharpshooters. Killed the enemy general. Two nearest units. Back the Freikorps. Infantry push up. Cavalry. Yeah, their cavalry have been killed, attack the guerrilla mercenaries, get the general away so he doesn't get shot. Ceasefire all artillery. Chase down the unit of line infantry. Just hold steady, I suppose. Excellent. Let's keep moving. There we go. Jump men over the <laughs> jump men over the defenses just to make sure they do go. going to continue. It's not going to be total victory. Well, I mean, it is a rel relatively total victory, but we are just doing a bit of mopping up. Swiss guards would be nice if we can get them. Most of them, but not all of them. There's a unit to the top left that's going to escape, but really it's this guy. Three, two, two, one, nice. Good kills, good kills. 300 men remaining. William Wolfgang Kruger is yours. Onward. That's an army Make defeated, ready. so you men Onward. replenish and advance. Anything more? Godwin Gates, replenish. The Demolish the port. We don't need it. We want a trade port. The next thing to do is attack Karl Gmelin. And his force that's currently sat in one of our farms. And then probably attack, <laughs> attack Dijon as well. And maybe attack Leon. Although we might need a bit more extra reinforcement around Leon. Okay, let's take Gerard Aga. Attack mass farmland. 
they don't have the financial firepower that we have that we can bring to bear to destroy so many of their troops they just have to kind of suck it up and deal with it they have to accept that the end is coming for them we will deal with them soon enough What a fantastic firing position for my 24 pounders. If I can squeak them in between these trees, that's okay. It would make, sh make shrapnel shots going to be a bit tricky. The main thing for me is we have rockets. Rockets don't give a damn. They just fire, fire, fire. Okay, so let's group some elites and skirmishers on either flank something like that put artillery ceasefire commit guys into the mix. Push, push, push. I mean, my left is probably not going to push as much as the right, because that's going to bulk up their strength is. Okay, now my troops are far enough away. Fire it well. Although, start using my howitzers to quick climb some of their troops my foot artillery and my rockets are doing counter battery which is great especially with lots of cavalry behind lancer guards royal cuirassier guards You guys are actually in a bit of a tricky spot. Skirmishers, run through the square. You guys focus on the Hussars. You run through the square, you'll draw their grenadier guards into the to fight the enemy square. And you men get to the cover of the trees and fire upon that square. Get my howitzers to engage the units that aren't actually in melee combat with us. Sars have been killed. We found some of the enemy. We found the enemy light troops. So we can massacre them. Sars are dead. Push forward rapidly. Scare no light troops. Run away. Foot artillery engage the horse artillery. This broken cavalry unit very nicely. A lot of them decided to stop when we when I gave the attack order. Come on, you men. Get your rifles ready blow the horse grenadier guards away keep my cavalry away from them really wait on one man to get into position come on five men open fire excellent The rest of your guards are opening fire with their pistols, so let's get into line. Form line. Colonial light, chase them down. Regiment of horse. Hello, 
Those you have my infantry. They are idle. Okay, these infantry units advance to secure. I was going to say advance to secure the hill, but apparently it's dicey. Carabina. Now oh, it says switch to round shot, start bombarding this regiment of foot all the way at the back. One artillery in peace. Engage the carabiner. If you hit them, you can hit them with triple shot. Rockets are away. Couple of kills. The other units have fired. There we go. The art <laughs> musket firing artillery fire are under. There we go. So these units really well we these units push forward to the line to get them to redeploy. Shotgunners aren't really the most valuable unit to kill, but you know, it's killing units, what's not to like? Same with you in the militia, really. Oh, it says both focus on the regiment, but. Of 24 pounders engage the general. There's another unit of Fry Corps line infantry back here, and a unit of militia. We to advance up to force them to abandon their defensive positions. Okay, there we go. These men have abandoned their positions. Is that unit broke? Oh no, they are still there. So you men are going to advance right up into that militia unit's face. We're going to rely on the Grenadiers and the Republican Guard to whip around the flanks and do a lot of damage. The farmhouse is nearly destroyed from our artillery fire. So close. Charging in with the Continental Marines seems like a no-brainer. Cavalry attack the General's bodyguard. All my artillery just cease fire. So we're engaging the line infantry. They're holding us off for now. Let's push units up to the next unit of line infantry. You men are just you men are taking hits from this militia unit. That's why I'm hoping you guys flanking around will force them to abandon their position. Long riflemen flank the long way around the Fry Corps. Militia are going down. Hopefully soon we kill the general. Yeah, if our artillery doesn't, if our artillery is not uh, not occupied. Yeah, engage the building. There we go. I was hoping they would abandon the position, but apparently not. You may need to get up on top of this high ground, really. A 
working our way through the general's bodyguards. The general himself is still alive. To kill. Got him. Nice. Okay, you whip around the flank, get behind that unit. Bunch of scouts. Get up on top of this high ground. Shoot. Oh no, you can shoot into the. Oh, they're there. Oh. Execution style. JFK shot. 55th Regiment, fair play. You've held off very well. Farmhouse hasn't done so well. Surrounded the 107th, they're under fire from many different directions. These provincial scouts are popping off good shots. Because you men have got good angle, firing along the wall, no cover. No cover for the enemy, that is. <laughs> Excellent, that unit's collapsed. Marines, get out of there. Elite infantry, form up. The enemy are returning. You men might not even have a job in a minute. Shattered, there we go. This unit was probably going to break pretty quickly now as well. Yep, one volley from the Grenadiers. And that was enough. But yeah, see this is why artillery doesn't have to be mobile. It's all the way back here. And look, my 24 pounders cover the entire battlefield, effectively. You know, there's only so much you have to move them around. Nice. Back you go, you devil. Humphrey Sloper, your army's reconstituting, isn't it? Sir. Your humble servant. So you need an artillery unit. Plus probably two cavalry units. Two heavy cavalry units. Considering we are up against a lot of elite troops. Okay, there we go. That action done. Uh, right, then let's take Ian Brent. Our army's pretty good. Go and attack Dijon. Although that army is quite badly depleted. Sorry, Fear Marshal of Europe. You do not deserve our efforts for such a puny army. Ready for orders. Onward. And you could. Well, what I suspect is if I send you here, you won't intercept me. And Roger Leverett can try and get down to this bridge. And we'll bottle in the Austrians at least here. Earl Roy Malloy's not got much of a look in. Let's do some repairs around France. Make sure the infrastructure is being upgraded. So this army's being sorted out. Your humble servant. Ready for order. In the Americas, we've got a lot of recruitment yes. ongoing. Ready and awaiting Sir. Great, you're ready to be committed. I'm probably going to commit you to India. Sir. So I think the Marathas are, right now, they're really quite weak. So we want to take advantage of that massively. Ready and awaiting order. Waiting for your orders. Okay, so now are you, good sir. You need one unit of artillery. One unit of cavalry, good. 
nine units of line infantry. Because yet we're running out of cool units to recruit in the Americas. Get the you're ready. Ernest Maynard. We don't have to worry about things taking a while to get to Mr. Maynard. We can afford to wait, it's not a problem. Okay, I think that's everything. Well, I think it's everything at this stage. I uh, obviously want to make sure, I mean we don't want to do too much upgrading, I mean it's reasonably safe I guess, let's upgrade the gem shaft. Once this is taken, once our cart's taken, we can just push up, and ideally the next, ooh, good job I checked. This is part of the problem with playing, playing between end turn states, is that sometimes you miss things like that. Let's move Fiddler right. You've scouted the coast. How many troops are there? Dare I? Dare I land? Deposit this <laughs> this force and lay siege to their capital. Because this army is going to be depleted. This force is small. Yeah, let's put them under siege. Yeah, uh, that force is fine. That force is mostly fine as well. Yeah, let's just put them under siege. And can this force leave Goa? can, but they are potentially at risk. Although, yeah, they're potentially at risk. the time has come where we attack Mysore and get it captured. Um, yeah, just attack the city. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Mysore. Cheers everyone.